Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a great session so far. Exosomes, exosomes, exosomes. It's like the hottest thing right now. Um, so let me start our talk. Thank you, Grant Stevens, for inviting us to have this forum. Um, I'm the Chief Medical Officer for, for Benev Company Incorporated. And today we're going to talk about Benev's topical exosome regenerative complex um, in our regenerative aesthetics. But exosomes now is taking the forefront of this panel this session. In reality, for us, exosomes is something that we've been studying for the better part of seven or eight years now. So this really isn't new, but I'm glad that it's here and it's at the forefront. Um, what I'd like to highlight before we, we go on is the unique partnership. Uh, it's an equity partnership that we have with ExcoBio, who I would revere as one of the top, if not the top, um, exosome biotechnology company in the world, based out of South Korea under the leadership of Byung Cho, uh, very scientifically driven, and with our partnership with Benev, uh, clinically proven results, and we'll see that shortly. Um, so just to expand on that in terms of what we've done in a short amount of time, we have upwards of seven U.S. patents that have been published, ranging from the lyophilization of exosomes to, to using the composition of our exosomes for um, suppression of, of puritis or, or increasing the skin barrier or looking at dermatitis or other conditions. So these are seven unique patents that we have published um, on our exosome technology. In terms of the source of our exosomes, we currently use human adipose-derived uh, mesenchymal stem cells, uh, probably one of the most widely studied, if not the most published stem cell type in our literature, if you look at PubMed, right? So what we're looking at here is the characterization of our exosomes, the process that we go through using electron microscopy, nanotracking analysis, flow cytometry, basically characterizing, you know, characterizing and validating our exosomes. In terms of what do exosomes contain? They contain a whole slew of things, you know, 150 plus growth factors, namely we talk about EGF, FGF, VEGF, HGF, just to name a few, but they also contain microRNA, anti-inflammatory properties that we can um, relate to in terms of clinical outcome, right? Um, in terms of the skin wound healing, we talk about two things, elastin and collagen. Our in vitro studies using hu human dermal fibroblasts as well as keratinocytes have shown that the application of our exosome technology has resulted in a 300% increase in elastin in dermal fibroblasts and upwards of a 600% or six-fold increase in neocollagenesis, the crux of skin rejuvenation. Now, just kind of switching gears to the regulatory component, and this has been a really sticky situation in this field, right? Everyone's talking about um, the FDA compliance and the whole regulatory issue. And basically, our Benev ERC product is, is a topical use cosmetic solution, right? Um, our product has been registered with the PCPC, has an inky name of human adipose stromal cell exosomes, right? So. At the time of this publication, there, were, there weren't any um, other companies or products you know, prior to this accomplishment that actually had that listed on their product list, right? So to be an FDA compliance as a skin care product, we have to ask two simple questions. One, does a product have a label with an in ingredient list or an inky name? And two, is there an ingredient list or is ingredient listed on that actual box or product referring to exosomes, right? And if so, what is the inky name? This here is just a, you know, the, the official letter from the PCPC dating, dating back to 2017, giving us our inky name. Uh, on the lower right side is the actual product label that we have on our ERC product, right? Um, the first and foremost mentioned ingredient is human adipose stromal cell exosomes. It's very clear what you're getting in that vial that you're using on your patients. It's not some type of extract or some type of this or that. Very, very clear, you're getting exosomes. Um, just to branch off of our collaboration, our growth with uh, Exico Bio, they recently broke ground and kind of created the world's first exosome CGMP facility. It's the first and largest manufacturing facility in South Korea for pharmaceutical grade exosomes. This is where they manufacture process they have naive exosomes as well as engineered exosomes, and this is where we kind of drive our uh, scientific research. And this has led us to the, the ERC, or the exosome regenerative complex, to be used topically, post-procedurally, both for non-invasive to invasive microneedling, RF microneedling, 
uh, lasers, uh, fractional, fully ablative, uh, using topically, we're able to clinically show reduces pigmentation, uh, reduces downtime redness, uh, discomfort um, almost immediately. The, the next generation of our ERC complex was the ERC plus, because the big question is, does the, the number of exosomes matter? Uh, number does matter to a certain extent. So this is the evolution of the ERC, has a higher concentration of exosomes, and we've expanded the scope of not only using it on the skin, but expanding to hair growth and scalp. And lastly is the exobalm, and this was created um, by, by one of our colleagues who actually worked closely with us on exosomes, and this is just a, a post-care optimizing, uh, moisturizing balm infused with exosomes, and I'll show you some clinical, clinical things or clinical cases. Um, but first, I'd like to mention that we also published the world's first exome-based double-blind study. Uh, it was a 12-week 12 12 prospective study, double-blind, randomized, split-based study using fractional CO2 laser on acne scars. What's the result? To no one's surprise, decreased downtime, better results. So the power of exosomes is really real. This here is a... Uh, 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 before and after for Diane, Diane Duncan, she actually used an exobalm and a post-radiation uh, breast cancer patient had these burns anteriorly, posteriorly. Uh, topical application of exobalm immediately relieved her pain and redness, um, leading to just great patient satisfaction. Um, this here is a before and after of a uh, patient of Dr. J.D. McCoy, fully ablative laser. Uh, picture on the left, she removed the moisturizing mask but forgot to, or let it dry completely, so ripped off all the fresh epithelium. Um, daily application, and about seven days afterwards, you almost see complete resolution of her, um, of her injury. So as a result, we have three great products uh, registered by the PCPC with the inky name, seven US patents, and you know we're kind of really in this space where there's a lot of room for everyone to grow and participate in. But I think we really have to pay attention to the, the regulatory aspect so we continue to, to, to grow this field and grow this segment. And I'm really excited about where it's headed. Thank you.